Welcome to CLA's Copyright True or False, which will give you a brief introduction to copyright and how it works. Ten true or false questions will follow. After each statement is read, decide what you think and keep watching to find out if you were right. First up, copyright law protects creations. This is true. It essentially means that creators' intellectual property is protected and that they can decide if people can use their work. There is no difference between copyright and patents. This is false. There's lots of differences, but the key thing to bear in mind is that copyright tends to protect the expression of an idea, while a patent protects an invention. Copyright starts the moment the idea is registered. This is false. Copyright is automatic and it starts the moment the idea is recorded in a physical form. The key copyright law in the UK is the Copyright Designs and Patents Act 1988. This is true. The 1988 Act is a key piece of legislation currently in the UK. The latest updates to the Act were in 2014. Copyright law applies to those aged 18 years and over. This is false. Copyright law applies to everyone, regardless of their age. Anyone wishing to copy or reuse material needs to ensure they have permission to do so. This is true. Because copyright protects the rights of the creator, anyone else who wants to copy or reuse that creation needs to check that they have permission to do so. Otherwise, they risk copyright infringement. Copyright generally lasts 70 years from the point of creation. This is false. The length of copyright varies depending on the creation, but in the case of books, for instance, the copyright lasts 70 years from the death of the creator. There are some exceptions to copyright, circumstances where you don't need to seek specific permission. This is true. Copyright exceptions are certain circumstances when you don't need to seek permission of the copyright owner. There's one for private research, one related to education, and also parody, caricature and pastiche, for instance. There is a copyright exception for education that means you can copy up to 5% for teaching purposes. This is false. While there is an exception that allows you to copy up to 5% per year, this only applies in the rare cases where content isn't covered by any existing license. Materials on the internet are in the public domain and so free to copy and reuse. This is false. Public domain works are those where the copyright has expired for instance, the works of Shakespeare. Materials on the internet, while easily available, might still be copyrighted, and so the permission to copy should always be checked and secured. So how did you do? The key point to take away is this one. Anyone wishing to use someone else's copyrighted work needs to make sure that they have permission to do so. This permission might be obtained in a variety of ways. As we've already seen, sometimes works are public domain and so can be used without permission. On another occasion, the circumstances of your copying might meet a copyright exception, and so again, you don't need to seek express permission. Or your copying might be covered by a license like CLAs. The most important thing though, is that you check before you copy or reuse someone else's creation.